Welcome back, life travelers, to another video by Ricardo's Travels. Okay, welcome back everyone to the part two, my winter glove showdown of four gloves, one being the basic big box store, you know, five, eight dollar, ten dollar glove compared to the fifteen to thirty dollar fully waterproof, fully windproof sub zero winter gloves and finding out is there a difference? Is it worth the double or triple or more cost? And will they truly keep the water off your hand, keep your hand warm? Will they do as described? So I've got four different gloves for you. The first one is this Palmeth ice fishing glove, they call it, which is a convertible mitten with the flip open uh, fingers and thumb which is good for outdoor activity that you need you know additional dexterity so you don't have to take off your gloves to to fish to do camera work to uh, work computers or smartphones or tablets anything like that that you would need to use your fingers on and next, I've got the Winter Ski and Snow Gloves by Tough Outdoors. And those are the, the classic snowmobile skiing type gloves with a high cuff with a pull cord up top to keep snow and debris from falling down into your gloves. Of course, they boast that they're full weather outdoor tested with the one-year warranty and can be used for anything from snowboarding, skiing, shoveling, any outdoor activity like, like all these gloves really. And next we have the gloves from O0, the negative 30 degree waterproof gloves and these have the touchscreen capability on the forefinger and the thumb and are just general all-around winter gloves for driving or any casual use. And finally, I'll compare them to the basic five, eight dollar, ten dollar cheapo big box store gloves and see how they compare. Okay, so let's get started. In episode one, I covered the big box store basic gloves and actually performed a water test with those. So if you're interested in those, uh, check out the link up in the top right. And you'll see that video and that water test and see how those turned out. I'm going to try to keep this to a two-part series. I might have to go to three. Well, we'll just have to see. I'm going to try to get through the last three gloves today. If not, we might have to finish up the last glove on a part three of this series. But let's see if we can get it done. Here we go. So here's our test subjects. And our prices are up top. And the, the colors don't represent anything. It's just so you can easily see the difference between each one. So you'll see on the far right is, is in green the $8 basic big box store winter gloves, which are decent gloves. I think, you know, anybody that's bought gloves before, bought those cheap gloves, you know, they're better than nothing. So really gloves like this are just very basic use and in, in perfect conditions. You know, going from your house to your car or your car to your business or from the car to the store 
that type of stuff. That's the difference. When you look at them on the screen here, or even sometimes when you just see them side by side in the store, it's hard to tell just looking at them that there's any difference. Of course, yes, the other gloves is two, three, and four times as much, but you get two, three, four times as much uh, capability out of them. And you'll see as we go forward, I'll be doing some water tests in the sink and, and actually show you the gloves in the water, the water running on them, and let you know how each glove does to see if it's actually waterproof, if it actually protects you, uh, because it's, you know, January here, North Georgia. You know, it gets down in the 20s at night, and I've got a crawl space here on the homestead, so the water in the pipes is ice cold for several minutes, you know, five, ten minutes. It's just ice cold coming out of there. So when I'm doing my water test, I'm not just checking to see if it's keeping my hand dry. Or I should say I'm, I'm testing for three things. I'm testing to see if it's keeping my hand dry. I'm testing to see if it's keeping my hand warm. That is not feeling the temperature of the water or not feeling any temperature change while I'm doing the test. And three, the material inside and I'll discuss this as I'm doing the tests. But some of these, it will keep your hand from getting wet, but the material that they use will act like a sponge. And the way the glove is designed, when you start pulling it off, grabbing your fingers to pull the glove off, it's just like grabbing a sponge and all the water running out because you just, you just press the sponge together. That's what some of these gloves will do. You, you, you grab the hand or grab the fingers to pull it off, and all the water comes pouring out the, the cuff there by your wrist. Uh, so I'll show you which ones are doing that and which ones aren't doing that. And then as well, some of these have added features like higher cuffs. The ones on the, on the right side, the basic one, the O0 one, has basically the same cuff. But they are not the same. Let me tell you now, they are not the same in quality, the same in fit, the same in warmth. So looks can be deceiving there. And as you move over to the left into the winter ski and snow gloves, uh, those have a higher cuff and actually have a pull cord, pull string, uh, not only on the wrist, but also higher up on the cuff. And then, of course, the newer ones that's, that's really popular now is the convertible type where the fingers come off. And these by Plymouth, or Palmith, actually have magnets on the back. So as you flip your hand up, it, it will, it's supposed to hold. I mean, that, that's the way they're designed. And, of course, they have some silicone pads on the fingers and on the palm uh, so you can pick up hotter items and cell phones and tablets and things like that it grips them better so you don't have to grip so much with the glove keeps them from sliding out of your glove because if you don't have the dexterity to feel as much as you would if you're not wearing gloves it's hard to keep those small items in a glove so gloves that have the silicone pads uh, on the palm and on the fingers it allows you to just you know, not grip it at all. It just keeps it from falling out. And additionally, this particular glove on the, glove on the back has a uh, reflective strip. So if you're jogging, hiking, biking, whatever, at night, that's got a reflective strip on it. So there's some added capability and features in these higher-end gloves that don't cost that much more, which is basically while I'm doing this video, to show people you don't need a hundred dollar glove you can spend you know in that fifteen to thirty dollar range and get a really good glove that's truly waterproof truly windproof and will keep your hand warm certainly down to freezing some of these will go below that so as you can see the O0 is rated at negative 30 I haven't been in negative 30 with them yet but 
you know, that's the rating. But all these are rated winter gloves. They're just a world of difference from the basic big box store glove that's only, you know, $8, $10, depending on where you are. And these are just so much better. So that's it in a nutshell. So the first glove here in part two of the series, I'm going to cover the winter ski and snow glove my tough outdoors so I'll roll in here my hands-on review and then as well the water test in the sink so here we go okay so I just spoke for a half hour and it wasn't even recording it turned off again wonderful Sony cameras can't say enough bad things about them all right, let's do this again. So we're gonna set this up and try to stage it again. Okay, so here's the tough outdoor review of their winter sports glove. And this one's in the medium. And in fact, it's all that they had, so I had to get the medium. I thought at least maybe my wife could wear those. But as it turned out, the scale is totally off. I would need an extra, extra large for them to fit me. And my wife would need the large or extra large, which they don't have. So I've got to return these, but I wanted to do a quick review on them. Because for the $10 to $15 winter glove range, that's supposed to be windproof and waterproof, that will be good even if they last just one season 10 to 15 dollars for a waterproof windproof winter glove that, that cinches up at the cuff that's a decent price and deal so, so that's why i ordered them took a chance on the medium i thought maybe my wife could wear them no nope, she can't so so here goes the review on them uh, again they're a decent glove and it's still together because I knew I'd return them because my wife couldn't even wear them and I know I can't wear them They're just too small. So I didn't want to take a chance on Messing up the return uh, But they got some good features on them again ten fifteen dollar glove uh, They got this strap so you can put them around your hand so you can take them off working It's just gonna dangle there right and then you put your glove back on. But you can see I'm barely got you know two or three inches here, and that's pulling tight here. That would bust out in a week's use, maybe a day or two use if I actually wore these and used these. But the design, if it's waterproof and windproof, is decent for the ten fifteen dollars. It's got this velcro piece along the uh, along the back side of the thumb. And it might be a little bit gross, but that's so you can wipe your forehead or, or your schnauzer. That's a nose for you don't know, schnauzer, the winter time. And, and the same along here on, on the pinky and, and across the knuckles. It's that, is that soft material so, so you can wipe your forehead, your nose, whatever. So that, that's nice. That's a nice feature. They also got a good cinch on here. It's good wide cinch so it doesn't bite into your wrist. It's good and wide. It seems to cinch down well. I do question the, the stitching. I wouldn't pull this too tight. Just snug just to keep the air from coming in uh, and for it to feel snug on your hand. But it's good and wide. The strap seems to be good and strong. I'm not sure what that, some nylon piece. I'm not sure what it is. And it's easy to undo, so you can undo it with gloves, I noticed. Some of them, once you get them cinched down, you gotta have a free hand to mess with the buckle and things to get it undone. This one, you just pull around with your pinky and pull and it com comes undone. So that's great. As well as when it's cinched down, it's not just sitting there flapping. They've got a piece here that it goes under, see? So it's not flapping. Uh, hopefully you can see that right there. 
So that slides in there. So that's good. I, I like that feature. I like the feature that they have a cinchable cuff. So you can cinch down on the cuff to keep wind or snow or whatever from go going back in the back side. And it's releasable again with gloves on. You just push both places here on both ends and it comes out about an inch and a half and that's enough to give you room to get out. So that's good. It will come out more, but that's all you need, just a couple inches there. Okay. Now, the inside is nice and comfortable. It's unlike some of the other gloves that I've reviewed where the inside starts coming off on your hand and places this won't I'm not sure what this is but it's nice and soft it's supposed to be breathable and, and uh, will dry fast now this one is not a work glove of course because uh, you don't have anything to reinforce the valley here between the thumb and the finger you don't have finger pads or tips to protect from wear you don't have anything across the pad here or, or the palm you don't have extra backing on the knuckles it looks like it does here but it doesn't they just replace the out, outer material with this softer felt material so it's not the felt on top so it's not like a double thick piece here. No, they just replaced it. So, so that's not good. But again, remember, we're talking a 10, 15. I think these are $15 gloves. I'll have to check again for sure. They're in the cheap glove range. And hey, if it's at least functional, keeps you warm. And if these are windproof and truly waterproof, 15 bucks, even if they got some of these design flaws, that they're not like some of the 50 or $60 gloves. Hey, it, it, it's still value to me. If I got to get a new pair every year for 15 bucks, that, that's fine. Because I've had 50, $60 gloves that I got to re replace or fix or repair in just one year so or less. So, hey, $15 glove, th these are decent winter, waterproof, windproof. Per they say, we're going to do the water test here in a little bit. But so anyway, there you have it. That's the tough outdoors winter. What are they calling these? The winter sports glove. So there you have it. Okay, so I brought you in here to the sink to do a water test. So I don't feel anything. It's good. Not only do I don't feel any moisture, this is cold water. We're in the winter time here. We got a crawl space, so that first water that comes out is super ice cold. I'm not feeling it. Okay, so, so that's the main glove itself. And I'm moving my hand to see if the stitches separate. That's going to let water in. Oh, 
this is not bad. Remember, these are $10, $15 gloves. I mean, $15 gloves, I looked it up. I got 15 and change, it's called a $16 glove. It's a sub freezing glove, windproof, waterproof, with a lot of good features on it. So I'll just keep moving my fingers and hand to see. See if the stitches are gonna open up. Let's get it up on the back side a little bit. the water hitting my glove, the pressure of it, and running, but my hand's not getting cold from the cold water. And it's not getting wet. I don't feel any moisture. Like a fist. Like you would sort of grasping a tool. Or a hiking pole. Like I say, I wish they'd make an extra, extra large in these. I just reorder. So that's up at the cuff, the wristband. Okay. So I have thoroughly soaked these. What I, I just want to test them out well. So running water for five minutes. I didn't make you watch it all. You've only seen about a minute or two. But for five minutes running water was just fine. Now then, and that's not what these are supposed to be designed for, but I've got a tub here that I filled up with water. I'm going to really test these. I'm going to test these. What if I'm fishing? What, what if I'm in downpour rain? You know, I'm not totally submerging. I'm just like re reaching in for just a moment. Okay, I'm letting out. No, still nothing. So let's see if we can... So see, they're submerged. The fingers are all submerged. Wow, I got to say, wow. I mean, whatever coating they got on there might wear with time. There's no way for me to know that. Right? Just gotta just field test it. But hey, 
I'm swimming in water with the fingers. In fact, the palm, you can see the palm is in there. The palm's on the water and the fingers are submerged in it. I'm not getting cold because this is cold water. Remember, this is the winter. It's cold tap water. I'm not getting cold at all. In fact, I can't even feel that it's cold. Or cool, even. Uh, my fingers, palms, none of my hand is feeling any temperature change. It's nice and warm. It's dry. I don't feel any moisture or seeping anywhere. Wow. Guys, this outdoor gear seems to be the real deal. Getting water all over me trying to film it, but that's it. There you have it. These are waterproof. That's amazing. Nothing at all. No water inside, no moisture. And I'm, when I'm squeezing my fist, it's, a, it's like squeezing a rag with water in it. You know? It's like squeezing the water out. But I don't feel it. My hand inside, I don't feel any moisture or the cold of the water. So that passed my water test. Okay, a final note or update. As it turns out, these gloves have a design flaw. Yes, they keep your hand warm. They keep your hand dry. The problem is when you pull them off, all the water that was collecting inside in that spongy material actually comes out at the wrist. So you tilt your hand up, grab your fingers or your hand to pull your glove off, and all that water shoots out the cuff all over you. <laughs> so that's a major fail. You know, unless you're not planning on actually going out and pouring down rain or, or sticking your hand in water. Uh, otherwise, they're, they're just fine. They do what they say they'll do. But... With me wanting to go hiking, I want gloves I can wear when it's raining. I want to be able to do camera work in the rain. And I can't have, whether I'm taking my gloves off or just grabbing a tool or grabbing a camera, and all of a sudden water comes pouring down my sleeve, uh, I can't have that. So this was a major design flaw in, in my opinion. So... For anybody that truly wants a waterproof glove that knows they're going to be outside in the rain, I cannot recommend this. With that said, I'm running out of time again. You know, everybody's wanting me to do these 15, 20 minute reviews. <laughs> Having a real hard time doing it, guys. Uh, so this one's even went almost to, you know, 30 minutes here. So I'm going to have to try to finish up these last two in the last video. I'll really try on the third video to finish up the last two, uh, but there's just way too much information, too much testing, too much to share to condense everything to a 15-minute video, or at least I haven't been able to do it yet. I'll keep working on it for you. For now, that's going to do it. Be looking for my third Winter Glove Showdown video. I want to thank everybody for joining me today. And take a minute to like and share and subscribe if you haven't. And as always, 
May everyone have safe and happy travels wherever life leads you. Show that you can be. We'll open your eyes and see the way.